So we're going to talk about the pop-ups. But before that, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so one of the important things about uh, APRS with the FT3D is that there's information coming out, uh, sometimes too much information overload. And like, for example, this. This is what they call a pop-up. So every time a beacon comes in, um, and the way the FT3, uh, FT3D is set up, it will display the information based on the on the beacon that comes into the radio. Uh, sometimes it can be annoying, especially if it has a sound. So when I first started using this, I wanted to control these pop-ups. How do you do that? So what you do is you click and hold display, ah, transmit it. It's transmitting every, every 15 minutes. So I'm gonna click and hold display, to manage these things that pop up. Uh, let's do that again. Nope. 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 And this is one of the issues that happens a lot where it doesn't let you get into the menu system because there are so many things popping up. There we go. Okay. APRS, I'm going to do pop-ups. Okay, so um, mic E, right? That's for the mic encoder beacon. Um, I don't need to see that. So we're going to turn this off. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to use a scroll wheel, position, click on display. Position, I don't need the position beacon. Go back. Weather, click on display. Well, weather, I... Well, there might be interesting, but nah, I'm going to turn that off. Object, no, don't need that. Item, for the item beacon, no, don't need that. Again, scroll wheel, status, no, I'm going to turn that off. Go back to, and then now to other, click on display, turn that off, I don't need other. Status. Uh, status beacon, that's already off, don't need it. Other, uh, for other than what is used by APRS is received, no. My packet, sure, maybe. That might be interesting. Uh, do I want it for six seconds? Probably six seconds is fine. Depends on you. Six seconds seems to be an adequate time for me to look at. And this, I think also my packet and this one for the beacon, it also sends out um, a ringer, right? It ring When the beacon comes in, it rings and it will show the pop-up as well. Message, right? Uh, displays a new message is received. Definitely, we want to see that. Probably a little bit longer. 10 seconds, six seconds, six seconds. Go back, group, don't need it. Um, VLN is what, bulletin, no. My message, uh, self-transmitted message, relay wave is received, uh, maybe. I'll put that at six. And these could be adjusted, duplicated beacon, right? Uh, overlapping beacon is displayed. Nah, don't need it. Let's turn it off. Mm, duplicate message, right? Message that has already been received. Uh, has been received, has been received. Okay, yeah. We don't need that. Let me put that to zero. What else? Uh... This, I don't know what that is. Um, something to do with response data of a message sent by your station is received. Hmm. And then other message is displayed when a message addressed to different destination. Nah, I don't think I need that either. Of course, this is a lot of trial and error. The advanced APRS manual it's a little vague on some of these. Okay, and there it is. So, 
going back to the display, it, the pop-ups won't show up often. Okay, now turning off the pop-ups, just like turning off the ringers, doesn't mean it's not receiving the information that you want. So if you click on FMW, and then you station list, these, this information is still coming in. It's just that it's not constantly, um, you know, overwhelming you uh, on the screen. And for me, this is a little more sensible. It's going to ring on the, on the things that I want, or it's going to pop up on the things that I need. So hopefully that'll help you.